What is going on guys and welcome back to another edition of I Suck at Street Photography. We're going to be taking a different approach in today's video in terms of driving around to the different locations that we see. We're just looking for cool things in the area to shoot. Right now we pulled over and saw these cool buses on the side so I thought I'd take some shots of those to start off with. We're going to be shooting with the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2 as well as the Delta 3200 film stock. So I'm excited to get that grainy look in my photos. It's an overcast day, so we're kind of picking a film stock that kind of fits the mood of what's happening today. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit a thumbs up as well as click that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content. Thanks and enjoy the video, y'all. So there's some minor detail in the sky, so I want to really try to capture that. I don't have any ND filter or anything like that. So uh, we're going to be starting off at a 1 over 400th of a shutter speed. Our ISO is at the native 32 from the box. And uh, we are going to be shooting at a 32 aperture. Um, I've never actually shot in an aperture that high before, so we're going to give it a shot, see what that looks like it is also very um you know using a different technique when you're shooting with black and white film because now you're not looking for color you're looking in things from a black and white lens thinking about the different shadows and the highlights of the images what blends in well together and what will make a decent shot so we're going to try to get the best composition possible today i'm going to start from an angle here um, and try to capture like the black bus I'd, I'd do the purple one but i feel like the black is going to add more of a contrasty look to the image as well so we're gonna kind of scoot from a side angle and see about getting a shot that way i also have the building name in the background as well as some of the highlights from the go ahead. yep some of the go ahead man y'all you're good as well as some of the highlights from the sky um so if you're really giving that background All right. I am also gonna now try to uh, line up these buses right here, see if I can get a shot with both of them in the background. All right, just stepping back here, getting everything lined up. We do have the 110 F2.8 lens on. All right, I think I'm good. Three, two, one. Honestly, we're probably gonna hit the road again, see what else we can get. Go from there and uh, we'll be back in a couple seconds here at a new location. So as we were driving, I saw this little um, section here and I thought how cool this would look in black and white. Unfortunately, it's not one of those sunny days where maybe there's light creeping in. We'll walk down some more so you guys can see um, that there's not light creeping in inside of each of the little pillar sections right here but I do feel that if I get at an angle and try to shoot this as it's like spiraling down the street it'll get a nice image from it so let's uh give that a try this uh inverted mirror screen is gonna be the death of me man I think I'm too close All right, one, one, two, three. I think I'm gonna be satisfied with that. Again, I'm trying to be particularly picky uh, in terms of the different images that I shoot today. I have three boxes of the Delta 3200, so, but still though, it's only 30 shots and I wanna make sure that each of them are properly framed um, and they actually look decent. And it's not just me snapping really fast. So there, that Miller building in the background, though, key, if you could pan to that right there, I feel that from the angle I'm at, it is cut off a little bit, but I do think that'll be a cool shot with the little lamp post in the background. So I will take that right now. I'll switch back to, regular mode here and then try to get that all right that's perfect oh okay i got the traffic lights in as well that's dope all right 
three, two, one. Well, I'm hoping that turns out nice. I think that actually will be. So you drove down a little bit more. I saw this apartment complex in the background. I'm not gonna be like a weird creeper or nothing taking random pictures of people's houses, but I do like the kind of archaic build of this. So I'm gonna take a photo. I think the garbage cans and this whole field section adds a bit of a perspective to this as well, especially in black and white. They might really turn out really cool. So uh, we're gonna test it out right now. I probably get an angle from right here so I can kind of capture the front and a little bit of the back one. And then I might just walk over to the other section there and see if I can get a shot um, just straight forward to see the differences between the two. Three, two, one. Other cool thing to the garbage truck pulling in here. I'm gonna get a shot of him maybe doing his thing as well because I think that'll make for a really cool picture too. Um, I might have to move in, so we might just have to step into the field some. Good thing I didn't wear my cool shoes today. All right, so we finally got to the lighthouse here. Traffic was a little bit crazy due to our local Pride Festival happening this weekend, so we're here now. Uh, the lighthouse is right here. I'm going to take another long exposure shot for a minute. Then I'll just take a regular shot uh, with the settings back to normal and see if there's any particular differences. Um, otherwise though, there's a lot of cool things here. Uh, the lighthouse, there's a nice little um, bridge in the back of us right here that actually lights up at night. We won't be around for that right now. So we're just gonna focus on uh, getting some cool shots of the lighthouse with all the details of the sky and whatnot in the background here. I'll probably too hold it for a couple seconds after uh, I hear the little click of the shutter opening, but you guys let me know if there's any particular science for long exposure shots. Uh, for some of my film vets in the comments, what I call you guys, the analog gurus, some of my AGs in the comments, so. Part of me thinks that I actually let this go on accident or eased up some, but we're gonna see. I'm just gonna keep my kind of ear close to it, see if I can hear the shutter closing at all. Over the birds screeching right now. Oh, I think I did hear that little, that alarm is really faint. Like that's a, that's a really small or low sounding alarm. I did hear it. I just thought something in my ears was ringing prior to that. Okay. Also right now trying our best to beat the rain. I felt a couple droplets on my back of my neck while I was taking that shot. So we're gonna hurry up and get done here. All right, that shot should incorporate the sailboat with the Rockwell clock tower all the way over there with the flag on top of it. Um, just trying to get some different shots here. I'm gonna take another vertical shot of the lighthouse one more time, maybe with a speedboat in the background here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is the big shot, y'all, right here. This is gonna be good. One, two, three. And that 
is it for my second roll here. I know I mentioned I'm probably going to shoot with three, but we're gonna call it one after two. Of course, uh, the images will be baked into the video as you guys watch it, so you guys will be able to tell me how what you thought of these images. But overall, man, I enjoyed the process. It was fun talking to you guys about how this stuff was going. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you haven't yet, make sure you smash the hell out that like button as well as click the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content. Thank you again. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.